In today's episode, we will be unboxing the Renesas TB S5 D5. But before getting into that, first a little introduction to the new S5 D5 group of Synergy MCUs. MCUs from this group feature a 120MHz ARM Cortex-M4 core. The S5 D5 is designed to be scalable upwards to meet varying end product requirements, enabling customers to leverage and reuse their investment in both hardware and software design. They are also scalable downwards to the Synergy S3 series MCUs, having compatible peripherals and SSP compatibility. S5 D5 products have an excellent blend of performance and features at an attractive price point. Robust capacitive touch sensing, high-resolution analog, advanced connectivity, a single precision floating point unit for intense but efficient algorithm processing, and comprehensive security features that protect data at rest and in flight. The S5 D5 MCU group features up to 1 MB of flash memory, and the large 384KB SRAM allows many tasks to run concurrently. That means the functions and advantages of the Synergy software package can be fully exploited while using the RTOS with many threads, moving data at high speeds, making calculations, and leveraging DMA data transfers. The SRAM size does not change between package types in the S5 D5 MCU group, meaning that regardless of package, developers will not risk running out of memory for their applications. To learn more about the device's features and specifications, visit the Renesas Synergy website. Synergy Target Board Kits provide an inexpensive entry point to evaluation, prototyping, and developing for the Synergy family of MCUs. The boards provide pin headers that allow access to the MCU signals, as well as several onboard peripherals. This target board showcases the Synergy S5 D5 MCU in an LQFP144 package. It is supported by the E2 Studio ISDE from Renesas, as well as the IAR embedded workbench for Renesas Synergy. The box comes with a micro USB cable and the board itself. Here's what you'll find on the board. Pin headers provide access to all signals of the microcontroller. Onboard Sega J-Link debugger. Main power input of 5 volts from the debug USB connector and optional 3.3 volts from header pins. Jumper providing options for MCU main power and battery power current monitoring. Full speed USB 2.0 device port. Status LEDs, user LED and user buttons. Capacitive touch as well as mechanical. 10 pin header for optional external debug probe connection. 32.768 kHz RTCC crystal and 12 MHz MCU clock crystal. MCU reset push button. MCU boot configuration jumper. For more information about this kit and where to order it, please visit this link.